Welcome to Cannabis School. I'm your host, Jesse Angelus. And I'm Brandon Elder. And we're here to talk to you about everything pertaining to cannabis, from vape, flower, edibles, strains, and everything in between. Another Tuesday. Another strain. Another strain from one of our favorite. It's Betty. Yeah, Betty is a local strain here in Utah. Fantastic. We're going to be having some of this really popcorny bud. Uh, it's very light and fluffy. Uh, the the cola on there is just it's really cool, man. Like those little buds are so nice. It's got a nice aroma. This is GG. Yeah. Or GG number one Gorilla Glue. It's from the Gorilla Glue family. Um, Makes it. A- Chocolate Diesel and Chem Sister. Oh man, that uh, Chocolate Diesel sounds amazing. I don't know really does. where Chocolate Diesel is. Now it said that the notes are going to be kind of a coffee and toffee flavored. You're going to like hints. I, don't I know. wonder if we get that in the toking because I'm not right now. Yeah, you don't in the I smell. Mean, no, the smell is very. It's it's a mild, real mild. Yeah. Uh, strain. This is an indica dominant. What's the percentage on that? Do you know? Um, of what? It doesn't give a breakdown of like indica to sativa, oh. but it does give uh, cannabinoids and terpene profiles. So we do have um, caryophylline being the highest dominant terpene, and then limonene, myrcene, humulene, and valencine. That's not a very common one, valencine. No. Huh. There was a terpene, and it's not valencine. I'll have to look, do more research into it. But Utah had a terpene that wasn't showing up on most other places that was showing up here. I'll have to look for that to see. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, I'm very interested uh, to see what that is, though. What are your thoughts? It's peppery. Um, that's that beta carefully. Okay. It's very peppery. Um, slight coffee notes. Very slight coffee notes. You know the kind of coffee note it is? McDonald's coffee. It's just, it's just there. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just there. The, the only bad coffee I would say that I have had in my life is Folgers Crystals. Really? Have you ever had Starbucks? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's nah, exciting. it's pretty gross. <laughs> Folgers it's, is bad. Too. You know what it is? It's it's their coffee. Starbucks coffee is always burnt. Yep. It's just burnt it doesn't taste good like when you have a slow roasted uh light roast i love light roasts Mm -hmm. even starbucks light roast tasted like they burnt that shit and uh you know there's some local places here in utah there's local places everywhere you go right you know like uh but you do your own and it's like it's changed you you're like no more of do you get the coffee notes Yeah, a little bit, but it was more like almost sour coffee. Um, When you said (coughs) McDonald's coffee, did that hit? I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I could taste that note. Right? It's that Um, uh, sour bean that's almost like um, it's not too hot, but it's just like it's roasted differently. There's a chemical. Roast it. There's a chemical in the in the releases from shitty coffee. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it always degasses the, uh, I think it was nitrogen. Um, or com- carbon dioxide I really that it like releases this. in that. Yeah, it's really smooth. It's settling I like, in. I like the chocolate. It, I don't get. I get very little like toffee, but I yeah. do get a cho- uh, a, a chocolate fucking coffee. It's it really has this strange aftertaste of decent coffee. It this isn't even gas station coffee. Gas station <laughs> coffee is better than McDonald's coffee. Yeah. But and gas stations better than Starbucks. Oh yeah, but <laughs> it's sad to say it, it totally is. Like the Maverick we go to, like I will take we Maverick go... coffee over Starbucks. Hell anyway. yeah, dude. Hell I, yeah. I hate to say it, and even there's been road trips that we've been on that I've chosen McDonald's coffee over Starbucks coffee because that's all that's open. Um, and the George <laughs> Jetson. This is uh, by Jet Filtration. <laughs> Oh yeah, jet filtration. Favorite piece. Yeah, we have a code for that, right? Is it CSP fifteen? 
it is CSP 15. You C- can save 15%. Go get yourself a jet filtration bong. Uh, we have the smallest one, just so you know. This the is the extra s- small. The extra small. Uh, they are huge. Yeah, the my cousin has the taller one, and I think it's about that tall. Like Holy it's shit. it's a beast. And she brought it over, and we smoked them side by side. And it's like, oh wow, is it, it totally is, different? It's a lot taller, and, and it's way more. We have uh, three perks plus the one. She's got five total. Wow. Yeah, and so it's just a little bit smoother, a little bigger, but. Also, it's something you have to like set on the counter and stand by. It's just massive. That's so so cool. Yeah. Hey, by far still our favorite bong yet anyone. I mean, there's some really cool artistic looking bongs, which we appreciate the shit out of. Those are so cool. Um, We've even gifted it to close friends, like really nice looking glass bongs. But I'll tell you what, this one is awesome awesome it is the best it's the cleanest hits it's so smooth everybody who buys it just rants and raves about it and it's indestructible so for all of you people who break glass all the time i know i've been in there this is the perfect piece dude the perks everything like that they're they're probably bongs out there that do that one but i'm sorry man i become partial like my friend eric who's all about (laughs) nike like the guy won't wear anything but nike Literally, he was gifted like a really nice pair of shoes. Put yeah. them on. He goes, mm, put took them Give off. Them put them in a box. Guy. Yep. Yep. Here they're you not, go. They're not Nike. Yeah. So if it's not jet filtration, I'm not smoking out of that bong. Really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right. I'll try it on my feet. And then I'm like, ah, oh, here right, we go. I know, right? Uh, thanks for the bong, but no thanks. But, I know. It's and, you know, crazy. I really like this. Uh, it's a, kind of a chatty stream for an indica. Um, yeah, it's indica hybrid. really, well, and I mean, it's more indica leaning. I'm so clear headed. Yeah. How's I'm your very, head space? I'm totally good. Like it's super light in my forehead. Like it's just kind of touching. Okay. Like it's like a, my cheeks. No, I don't feel, I feel a little bit in my jaw. Okay. Maybe it huh. just goes lower on me, but it's, I'm really awake so even though that this strain on on the tin it says you know maybe for nighttime use now however we are at the very first of it sometimes your high will go like this and then for unknown reasons it drops have you ever experienced that i've experienced that more often than not and i've been surprised most indicas make me pretty tired and i gotta say the more i've taken the more awake i am yeah i was like i feel really i almost feel like i've had second coffees today and i haven't but i'm like this is nuts because for an indica dominant hybrid i would usually feel i'm i feel tingling in my arms and my legs i feel a little bit of relaxation yeah but not like crazy heavily sedated or couch lock this one's supposed to be great for pain um really mm -hmm. so i i mean my back's been a little sore this morning it's not been horrible but it is taking some of that edge off um, and a little bit of the tightness out of my neck. Here's the weird thing. I feel it in my forehead. It's cold. Right here. It's in my forehead now. It's, it's like a real, it's like a tingling sensation. Yeah. That's like almost cold, but it's not. Weird. It's like getting chills. Yeah. Um, I am getting a weird sativa headache with it already. That is odd. For an indica, that's fucking strange. Because yeah. it's got like, maybe it's the beta care feeling. Wow, beta carefeline or like the lemonine and the but, myrcene because it's beta and then myrcene. Oh, it does have beta myrcene as well. Yeah. yeah, let's take a look because this one is actually what percentage is it? Oh, it's the same actually. I was looking at it, and I'm like, oh, maybe, but they don't have the full terpene profile online that they do on the package. Oh, yeah. So. The, it goes down into the miners like really deep. Yeah. Like got... 0.001. <laughs> and you're like... Yeah, like the CBGA, CBCA, CBG, CBDA, THCVA, THCA, and then THC Delta 9. So it's interesting. Um, oh, it's surprising. I mean, I guess Delta 9 is naturally occurring yes. in the plant. But obviously in just such tiny, minute percentages. Yeah, until it's been activated. Well, the Delta 9 is the activated, but it's 0.85. So just available in yeah, here, yeah, but in the, that. the THCA that could turn to it is 26%. So 
my thoughts, and I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. You know how you, um, it's you can't feel anything from cannabis if you eat it if it's not activated. Correct. I was thinking the same well, thing. You if could this probably this is do actually that. already activated, but with a 0.1 percent or something like maybe there is something you could feel from just eating it because... You got to be pretty desperate to be eating that shit. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot of value in eating raw cannabis. Yes. Like, but I look at that and I'm like, okay, who's eating that? What the Willingly. fuck? Are we missing like a thing up there? Oh, don't worry. I'm just going to tighten it. Uh, but good. no, I, I, I get that. I mean, I just... You know what I imagined was somebody like making a peanut butter sandwich and then putting bunches of buds on so, it just to eat it that'd be so expensive i had a friend uh back when i first started smoking i was like 18 19 and i would socially smoke and a buddy of mine had an eighth of flour which to me at the time was a lot yeah yeah that's um, still a lot for me and i was like oh shit and he took that entire eighth and went to quiznos and put it on a sub didn't oh. bake it didn't bake it at all just put it on it and ate it like a sandwich, thinking <laughs> this is gonna get me high, and it didn't. It didn't. He wasted the entire sand, like not the sandwich, but he wasted basically the entire eighth of flour. Oh my gosh! And at that time, when that lasts a long time for new users, like oh. that was an expensive ass sandwich to just kind of throw away. <laughs> yeah, an eighth will do. Uh, you know what? An eighth can last me like a week and a half, almost two. Whoa! Yeah, if I'm being very well, and this. Okay, I got a caveat to this. Only if I have other strains available, because I tend to pick a strain for certain times, right? Like with uh, Dr. What was her name again? Oh, uh, Riley Kirk. Riley Kirk, Dr. Kirk. When we had her on the pod for the sesh, I, I was just thinking about a lot of the things that she had talked about. Yeah. But I just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so That's beautiful. as I was saying before, your high can go up. Now I'm feeling the sedative properties. Oh, okay. I'm starting to feel a little bit. I'm really calm. Yeah. What's one of the great things about this that indicas don't do well with me on is when it's high in like myrosine and it'll get my heart rate up. However, for whatever known reason, or maybe the amount of lemonine in this, I'm not feeling any. Well, and it's also the beta carefelene and lemonine that are really high in this one. So That's maybe that true. helps with the myrosine. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I think the myrosine is like third or fourth on the list. Well, beta carefelene is also another unknown, well, not widely used. And I've actually been thinking about this. I'm wondering if um, it's the capsaicin in peppercorn that allows that property. And if that was so, could you use hot sauce as a diffuser? I I mean, it's worth trying. You could I'm use gonna it to I'm going to do that. I'm going to see like, because I, I've noticed with another strain that we'll review here from Utah that uh, after so much time, it got my heart rate going. Like I'm trying to go to yeah. sleep and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, I can't sleep now. Yeah. I'm just like feeling, I just had to sit there and, and put an earbud in and find a, a YouTube short that just plays over and over and over and I fall asleep. Like that is the best sleep I get is when I put that on. I have to find the right one and I go, okay. And it That's just plays funny. over and over and over and over. Is it like a sound or uh, like a person talking it's usually? The or tones and pitches in the voice. Okay. If something sounds too trying to get me to fall asleep, I tend not to fall asleep. I did find a really good one on YouTube with this woman and it's awesome because I was like, she's like, this goes for 50 minutes. And I'm like, oh, I got to take 50 minutes to get to sleep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I was like, maybe five or 10 minutes following the breathing directions. But anyways, um, this, it's very cotton mouthy, but it's a slow onset of cotton mouth. Pineapple Express, that will, the flower will give you cotton mouth pretty quickly. Okay. Almost okay. instantaneously. This one, however, has slowly been coming on. Yeah, but I, I've taken quite a few hits now, I feel like, and I would say my cotton mouth is rocking pretty solid there. Yeah, I'm going to get some Luber City. What flavor are you putting in your mouth? Strawberry in? flavor. We have a code for these guys, too? With Luber City, you can go, the website will be down below, and you can save 20% by going to CSP. 
and putting in coupon code CSP20. We've got Jesse over here showcasing the lovely product. You can get this Lubra City today. <laughs> <laughs> At your local CVS. Yeah, um, if you're on the East Coast. Oh, was oh yeah, this was found in like pharmacies and stuff yeah, over it there. It needs to make its way out to the West. I think Walmart and other places on the East Coast. Yep. There was a good handful. Everywhere. Um, that you could find it. So that's fantastic. You can save 20%, use code CSP20, and... uh. You know, get rid of that cotton mouth. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Because I pass that this way. Yeah, yeah. I would say this is actually a decently cotton mouthy strain. Yeah. Because we've only we're not even done with the first bowl, and I've got crazy cotton mouth. It feels like now you're starting to notice the more sedative properties of it as it starts to enhance. Now you you are a, a pretty avid indica dominant user. If it's a hybrid, yeah. you're really. Like I use all of the above, but because of my pain, exactly. I use a lot. No, okay. not to say that you can't enjoy sativas. You enjoy sativas quite often, but on the other side is that it, just like what you said, like you're looking for pain relief. There are very few sativas that actually can give you pain relief. That do the same. I right. did recently find, however, that green crack was like a weighted blanket for my mind. Nice. That was amazing. It's like That's in that of, vape? Yeah. And I just the concentrate it has the cannabis derived terps. But the nice thing, I was like, usually my mind is just constantly going. And I took that and it was just like calm. Dude. And I was like, this is nuts. This is fantastic because green crack is an amazing sativa. But for me, that was a perfect work time one. Nice. Because I stopped having all the other shit going through my mind. Right. And it was clear, and I could just sit and focus and work and get what I needed to done. That's awesome. I, you know, thinking about it right now, this is kind of like, again, it went up like super high, yeah. started to come down. Now it's like leveled. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got not, a nice level. It, it's not going down more. I could. Mine feels like it's writing about here. Yeah. <laughs> I like, feel it. Like kind of cold. -ish. Yeah. But yeah. it feels like it's like about here below is most of my relaxing and everything mm -hmm. else. But then I'm just like clear headed still, like from here up, I feel like I'm really clear, but yeah. I just have like very relaxed, but not like couch locked. I just don't no. feel the I, same it, tightness and stuff. If I was tired, I'd had a long day, you know, I'm, I'm a working, I'm a blue collar guy, I beat my ass up all day out in the sun, okay. I'm home but I'm still kind of like wired. I mean, I just can't sleep there. I know those, I used to be that guy. Yeah. I could see this strain helping you get there if you wanted to go to sleep, but if you wanted to stay up and play video games, like I was playing I Elden Ring too. last night <laughs> and, uh, you know, right before I went to bed, it was like 1130 and I was playing that and I, I'd had some, uh, I'd had an indica dominant strain and it was just like, I was fine. Interesting. What was it last night that you were playing on? I was playing on the PS5. No, no, no. The Strain. Oh, the Strain. A Banana Dolce 10. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Because that one's very sedative. I remember... But it kept you up, though. Yeah. But then on the other side, though, on the medicinal side, you know, I'm going to save that for that episode. Uh, but anyways, this is real close to that. Okay. But it doesn't give you the heart rate. That's the best part about it. I feel no racing heart. Yeah, um, none. Super calm. I feel it just like you said, like here, like, and it's like I feel like a little bit of pressure, like okay. a like a nice sexy choke. <laughs> Harder, daddy. <laughs> um, Harder. Yeah. Well. I don't know. Or like you're wearing a button down shirt with like a tie on or something. There's yeah. just that little bit of. Yes. Yeah. I can. That's exactly it's what so it is. weird. Feels like somebody fucking choking you. <sighs> what in the hell? It's so like, weird. Are it's you like, getting aroused? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I'm getting chub. But. Uh, <laughs> but. but <laughs> uh, shit. It's a giggly strain. It's giggly, dude. It's this a, a chatty nice... strain. Yeah, it's very chatty, very fun, but not like discombobulated. Uh, yeah, elevated. You know, like where you're like, or well, like... where the conversation goes, you're like, right? Like earlier, I was like, 
And I don't even remember what I was talking about. Like that happens more often. I always think of that Tom and Jerry <laughs> uh, meme. He's like, you've been talking to him for like 20 minutes and the guy goes, what? <laughs> like you're that high. But this is fun, man. This is like, I want to watch like, I could, I could just chill and watch a movie and it could be funny or serious and I'd be down for both. Dude, this would even be just, I'm mm. thinking about this. This could be a fun like, Hang out with a few friends. Oh yeah, just a good group of friends. Dude, playing hang, card games. Yeah, playing games, hanging out. Yeah, I, I don't really feel munchy. I feel cotton mouthy. No, but I, I don't, don't feel, feel munchy. munchy. It's a pretty strong cotton mouth. Even the Luber City, <laughs> yeah. it's like now I got to take a drink. And Luber City did its work for yeah. like a good minute there. Well, I've had several drinks during this one and the Luber City, and I'm like, man, Gigi is definitely like. It's not horrible. No, it's not it's the not. worst strain I've had as far as cotton mouth, but it is definitely a very dry. This would dry be really there. good. I got these popsicles. They're <laughs> sugar free for my my diabetic mm -hmm. ass, and uh, it would just be right now. I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, dude, that'd be so satisfying right now. Oh yeah, it would. Like you just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and just just yeah. That looked awful. Yeah. Know, fuck. <laughs> We're gonna zoom in on that one. Dude, that was fun. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah, have to be, you try it. Yeah, just you know, you smoke this train and then just get to throat working, right? Use the Gluck Gluck three thousand. Gluck Gluck three thousand. I mean, you know, Luber City will definitely help with that. Or no, I probably, you know, there's absolutely always those dick sucking mints. There so. you go, dude. I mean, this is good. Okay, so now. Uh, I would say we're about 20-ish minutes into the strain. What would you say? I really like how this is settled through. I feel like, honestly... Yeah, it's my whole I, face now. I feel it in every part of me from about here down. It, it was... It's weird because it's sitting right here yeah. going down. But then also I feel it up here, but in just a slightly like different temperature zones. Like it's colder down here and it's warmer up here. <laughs> just <laughs> like, what the fuck yeah. is going on? Because it's so crazy, but it's like, I, I know it's making my eyes red. I mean, I can't tell from here, but I would guess because... Yeah, I can feel that, like, you I know that irritation? Yeah. Like, there are certain strains that, like, like the cotton mouth that's hitting us. I, I would say that, duh. When you're getting more cotton mouth, likelihood of your eyes itching a little bit or it's going to go up because yeah. those blood vessels just relax so much. You're like, oh. I just close my eyes when that like, happens because I notice- Like letting out a big dinner. fart in some sweatpants <laughs> and then just look because your guts have been hurting all day. And you're just like, oh. And it just it just goes out of you and it's like, it's like satisfying sounds like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, like an old heart. Like oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And you just come out, and you're like, uh, but it's like a long one and it's like hot. Yeah, it gives you're like, bubble uh, butt a whole new meaning. And then it just, the stomach pain goes away. Uh -uh. That feeling of, uh. Yeah, but then you have to sit in those sour eggs and it's just hot <laughs> <cream>. <laughs> Either that or it smells like a broken garbage disposal. You're just like, oh man. Or like, like some, a used diaper filled with like Indian food. Like Chinese food that was left in the back window of your car in the middle of July in Phoenix. Mm. And then you open that shit up because you don't realize it till the third day. You don't smell it after like the first nah, time dude, you, you went in, in the, the house and you, you know, after that whole ride, you got high for a full day and you're just like, oh, and you're like, oh, I gotta go do shit. And then you get in your car, like, what is that? Is that, is That's that terrible? It's that, that kind of smell that comes out. Then you, you, that, I mean, this is how it makes you feel, dude. Like, I feel just like, oh, nice and relaxed and yeah. just all, but not like a heavy relax. You know what? Yeah. A certain strain just kind of. So like you, yeah. Robocop trying to get a piggyback on you. You're like, fuck. <laughs> but this one's just I so wasn't prepared nice. prepared for this. Yeah, just like, oh, this feels good. It is a very relaxed strain. Like, yeah, I gotta, I, I gotta sit up. <laughs> Jesse's gonna fall asleep over there. No, I just like, I'm like, I just noticed like every time I'm like, Bleh. but I'm like, because I know you sit up straight because of your to. back. But it's, 
it's weird because I notice when I sit there and I feel my spine and I can go, hey, my spine's like more curved. Then I'm like, oh, shit, I feel it. And then I try and straighten out. and Because most of the time, it's been weird as hell. I've had like crazy pain in my shoulder blade, like that part of my back the wow. last month or two. Mm. Um, oh my God, it's just really annoying. But it happened after I had like, uh, fucked up my leg longboarding. Oh, yeah. So then, like, my whole hip was weird for a minute, and my leg was weird, and I was walking funny, and I'm like, I just feel like a crippled old man. He's yep. in his fucking cane. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> He's yelling at people, get off my fucking lawn! I know. I was like, this is what you guys have to look forward to. Yeah. This is me in, like, 30 years, but yeah. now. He's just gonna be hobbling around, always mad. Stop looking at me! Yep. Saying all the same shit that I do anyway, yelling yeah, a bunch at the kids. of racist shit. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Just kidding. Get off my lawn. Right, you're like you're like Clint Eastwood in that movie Grand Torino. <laughs> Just racist as hell. <laughs> so funny. Oh man. Uh, so we recently had gone through. Uh, I guess mine and Jesse's grandpa had passed away. Yeah. And we went to his house because they were getting rid of all of his knickknacks from traveling the world and all his rocks that he's collected from years. And we, I sat down because, of course, they had like tons of copies of the family genealogy books that they had written up. And we were sitting down reading through it, and I don't remember what it was. There was some comment or something that Grandma had written in there. And... um. <laughs> My kids are reading it and they're looking at it and they're like, that's racist as fuck. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. But it was that time. I mean, you know, look at the area here. I mean, it was predominant, it still is predominantly white. I mean, it's. We have a lot of Hispanics like, and, and Polynesians and Asian families and stuff. Like, we've got a little more diversity than we at least used 20, to. 30 years ago. Yeah, but like, totally. It's. It's been like the widest place ever, well, aside I from mean, going up to Idaho. When I grew up here, I, I there wasn't a lot of mixed kids, mixed Hispanic kids at the time. And uh, it, it was, I mean, at least where I lived, you know, not to say that there wasn't yeah. a lot of mixed kids, but because I was a mix, like, I felt that. Yeah, you said you time. had a yeah. lot of struggles with lot. assholes and just racist yeah, people. A lot of racist people towards my father because I didn't take it towards me because I don't understand what's talking about. Yeah. I'm just like, well, pff, I'm just a kid. Like I don't I'm a, right? I I truly don't see color. It's just another person. Yeah. Right. You take two toddlers on a playground, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, fucking yeah. purple. Whatever they are. They just play. They're like, oh, they're, look, another oh, they're, kid. Yeah, another That's kid. That's it. It's not like, oh, well, your hair's styled this way, so I don't fucking like you. And it's like, get over yourself. Who cares? Dude, that, that some people get really pissed off with me because I just go, look, I'm colorblind. I really don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, if you're an asshole, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, doesn't matter. You're an asshole. Yep. And, and I, I mean, have there's no There's assholes problem. of every color, yeah. and there's amazing people of every like they're, just, they're people. just people they're just fucking people I, I don't see that so if you have a problem with me being colorblind get me those cool glasses yeah I, I those always, are cool yeah they're like you know like uh, like the guys over there going like this like you know and she's like she gives him a present and he's like oh glasses are these the oh cause I heard those things are bullshit <laughs> Really? Yeah, I totally. There's huh. some investigation on it. It's total bullshit. There was um so my ex wife I mean, has a brother work. who's colorblind and they I thought they went down and tested some of them but never got him them because it was supposed to be like, oh, he but he's not fully colorblind. He can only see like He's partially colorblind. Yeah, yeah. No, most of them are just partially colorblind. Like, they see a dominant color. A shade color. of colors, yeah. Yeah. And so he's like, and I was like, well, when, what, what happens when you look at the tree? And he's like, well, it's really hard for me to tell that there's, like, all these the difference of leaves because I don't see all the different shades. That's so fucking weird. And I was like, what? What? And he's like, yeah, so when I look at the tree, it's kind of like a generalized shape of it because I don't see into another all of the detail of it. And I'm like, that sounds crazy to me. Like, you can't, What? That's weird. But yeah, but it's just the difference of how his eyes have grown and, you know, developed versus mine. 
um, I was reading a book on oh, a book about we're not going to go into that, um, but it talks about evolution oh, and yeah. um, just the evolution of the eye, and you know how the eyes of different species and different um, things aren't even necessarily what we would classify as an eye. Yeah. But yet some of them only detect like light. Some of them detect like shadows or something else. But yet theirs to them is an eye because it sends data and information to help them do all the same stuff. But it doesn't have the same like ocular development that our eyes have. And even like within animals, there's such a different variation in like the development of the eye hmm. and like what, what it can or can't see. You know, like different, uh, cats have different eyes. Sharks have different eyes. Like all of these different animals have different things that their eye captures. But yet the eye as a whole is still just like kind of the same thing. You know, from you to me to, it's like a leg is a leg is a leg. An eye is an eye is an eye. Like it's it's different, but there's similarities in what its main purpose is, you know. High thoughts. Right. GG yeah. is definitely a good That's that's a high thought. High tangent. Honestly, I was sitting here going, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. No, but I was like, <laughs> but it, it, you know, cuz cuz it's trying to catch up right now, but now it's all hitting me. It's like it was delayed and all of a sudden you're like done talking, but I can eat your mouth stop moving, but I still hear the words. It's, because that is crazy, like just how that evolution takes place and just what changes, whether it's the environment, whether it's what you're ingesting, because all of those factors come into play when it's like when you're evolving. I mean, you can even see micro evolutions in your day to day by just changing your diet completely. Yeah. Like you feel different. You seem different. You look different. You take shits different. Well, so I have a friend who's a masseuse and she was going, we were asking just what's been different because um, she was a nurse before. And she was crazy stressed. She was like, I've been doing nursing for a while. I, I think I'm kind of done. I honestly think I'm burnt out with this. Yeah. And so she she works at like a health food store. She is a masseuse now. And one of the biggest things she said she's changed is her diet. Because to have, be a masseuse and to actually effectively do that, she has to have better energy. And so she's like, I actually am eating healthier. Because I find I get more energy and better energy from that than I do from mm. stupid shit. Like processed foods, fast food, any all of that crap. And it's like, huh, but evolution. It's, you know, all of these daily things. And obviously, if we continuously put crap in ourselves and don't do these things, we're going to hurt more. We're going to feel like crap. We're going to have more inflammation in our bodies. We're going to, you know, all of these things. I watched a video last night talking about... Um, sugars and how it basically affects cells because every like most diseases are um metabolic diseases meaning that it's from what goes into our metabolism what oh, yeah. we eat what we it's process mm -hmm. yeah so a lot of it is like the processed sugars go in and mutate these normal mitochondria cells to create another type of cell that can become cancerous or do all these things because now it's mutated and not in its normal form. So if we take out all of this crap that's not really supposed to be fed to our bodies and feed it actual good, healthy crap, well, then we can, re like, the mitochondria and stuff can actually do the things they're supposed to. Well, and natural sugars, you know, not just yeah. fruits, but, like, honeys and things like that, and and actual sugars from sugar cane, like, the way it was processed and, and the way it was used, it wasn't put into everything it was just Man. used for certain things but it was sparingly like you know we're not all like winnie the pooh eating honey like that's right. it oh bother yeah. i'm gonna have some honey and you know i mean that's it's it that's a that's so gluttonous we we, we wouldn't do that back then because it would be i i can't get that all the time yeah so i use it when i can get it but I'm not, but it's more of an enjoyment, right? I mean, I, I think of Jordan Peterson and his daughter who are, have been strict carnivore diet for like six years wow, or 
maybe less for Jordan, but his daughter is that way. She had rheumatoid arthritis. She had all these other like diseases gone, eliminated, no more inflammation. Her dad struggled with benzos. Like he was so addicted that he tried to get off and almost died. I can imagine that's hard to get off. He went to a carnivore diet and now he's good. You know what that is? Unsalted steak. I would be eating like I'd be that's why I'd be buying like Wagyu steaks because I want yeah. some flavor. Right. I can't just eat this dry piece of shit. Like that'd be a, crazy. That'd be horrible. Yeah, I don't think I could do unsalted. I love the salt and the pepper and that in there. Right. So I like all of I it. I so it's, do that. but yeah, man. That's rough. <laughs> I don't we got so off tangent. <laughs> so if you guys are looking for a great random ass strain <laughs> yeah. to feel good, have a great time, and have really weird random conversations. Yeah, this, this is, is good. it. Yeah, you can go down a rabbit hole. You can have fun. Get some popsicles. Oh my uh, God, it's yeah. summertime, right? Get some popsicles. Get those like twin pops. Yep. Not the otter Share pops. Because they always make you cough. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Every time, like, you have that, and it like gets the syrupy Took too part. Too big of a hit. From no, the no, no. Pop. Like, it just like, yeah, you take. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that shit hits hard. But uh, no, like you know, the otter pops. You're really eating them, and at the very end, like they get the. It's like mostly melted, oh, and yeah. I get that every time. I get that. I cough. Oh, uh, I could see that. It's been <sighs> ages since I've had an otter pop. Otter pops, and if and if you're a diabetic like me, they had these other ones that are like these sugar free ones, peach and pineapple. Oh, that sounds sugar tasty, free, dude. They're dope. They are dope. My son got into it. I mean, sign me up. I don't give a shit about the sugar. Fuck away from my popsicle. (laughs) Get your own damn popsicle. (laughs) All right. Well, hey, everybody. Remember uh, Jet Filtration CSP 15 checkout, and uh, we're we're gonna be able to hook you up. Um, Patreon guys, thank you so much. We we really appreciate it. We ask you for help all the time, and we're gonna continue asking for your help. Uh, donate even a dollar. That's fantastic. It's gonna be able to help us. We're wanting to be able to do more with our set. We want to do more throughout that one. We are a lot like you guys. So if you can't give, don't worry about it. We love you. Our, Maybe you can leave us a review because that helps us reach more people. Dude. It helps the algorithm find us. Helps more people like you find us. Go leave a review. And I was gonna, I was wondering about this. Um, can they post on our social media? They can tag us. I don't know if people can post or not. We should. I don't know. I I, I would like to open that up. It might be on. That might be something they'd have to do on Facebook. I don't know if uh, any other one allows that. But Facebook been in is groups. like really small. So. The 160 of you that are there, you can definitely. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, even that, oh, yeah, we can't, they can tag, start tagging us in your Instagram and, and in your TikToks. We'd love to, like, whatever, whatever you're smoking, whatever you, your glass pipe, you yeah, know. Yeah, show us what you got. You know, tell us why cannabis helps you and tag it. Tag us in that one and we'll share it on ours. Yeah. It'll be yeah. awesome. Love you guys. Take care.